today in math, we are going to solve a story by using a bar model. So, for instance, this right here is my bar model. Okay? So, let's listen to this story first to see if we can understand what it's looking for. Nicole sees 16 turtles on the beach. Some turtles swim away. There are nine turtles still on the beach. How many turtles swim away? So if I look at my story, what important words should I circle or or numbers? Um, very good. Sixteen and nine are very important numbers. What else is very important that we need to look at? <coughs> Sun. You are exactly right. Sun. Because we, she saw 16, but we don't know how many swam away. But she does know that nine were still on the beach. What are we talking about? What? What are we talking about? Okay, it is a subtraction problem. You're exactly right. But what type, or what are we um, trying to figure out? How many what? Turtles. You're right. Exactly. So we are trying to find turtles. What numbers did we decide were very important? 16 and 9. Very good. 16 and 9. But remember, we don't know how many swam away, and that's why we highlighted the word some, because that is an important word. Okay. So. I like to pretend that my bar model is kind of like an easier way of doing my cubes. Because when we put our cubes together, it takes a lot of time, doesn't it? Especially if I have to find 16 cubes or put together 16 cubes. That takes a lot of time, doesn't it? So, what I am trying to do is instead Instead of drawing all 16 of these, I'm going to just make a bar model. So this whole thing, right here, oh no, this whole thing right here equals 16, because 16 is a long number, isn't it? Yes. And it takes a lot of time to put our cubes together. But instead of drawing 16 cubes, I'm just going to have this whole bar model. Does everyone see that? Yeah. Okay, so 9 is a fairly decent size number too, isn't it? So if I have 9, it's going to take up quite a bit of chunk of the 16. So then I have this many left to figure out how many more I need to get 16. Do you see what we're doing today? Okay, so if I were to use my bar model as my cubes. I have 16 cubes, but nine of them are already taken. So how many cubes would I have left over that would fit in this box 
that would be my answer. Very, very close. Can you try to recount it? Make sure that you didn't count an extra one on, um, on accident. There you go. Seven swam away. So does it look like the number seven could fit in that uh, bar? Yes. I think so. Because is this box a little bit bigger than this box? Yes. Yeah, it looks just a little bit bigger. Is nine? Is nine a little bit bigger than seven? Yeah, so my nine box should be a little bit bigger than my seven box, correct? Correct? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, does seven plus nine equal 16? Yeah. It does, and that's how we check ourselves. Okay, so my biggest number takes up the whole space, right? Would it make sense if I put 16 in here and 9 in here? No. no. Why not? Because it wouldn't equal 16. Well, it wouldn't equal 16. But is this box big enough for 16 cubes to go inside? No. No, it is not. So this wouldn't make sense if we put 16 here. The 16 has to go on the very bottom.